Aradia. She was the daughter of a good and powerful deity named Diana, and Lucifer, her brother, the most powerful of the devils. Lucifer is the god of the sun, moon, and light, whose handsomeness was overwhelming, who was so proud of his beauty, and who, for his pride, was driven from paradise. From her birth, Aradia is destined to become the messiah of witches. Aradia lives in heaven, but then is sent to earth by her mother Diana to teach the arts of witchcraft, especially poisoning and malevolent acts against oppressors. And thou shalt be the first of witches known, and thou shalt be the first of all in the world, and thou shalt teach the art of poisoning, of poisoning those who are the great lords of all. Thou shalt make them die in their palaces, and thou shalt bind the oppressor's soul with power. And when ye find a peasant who is rich, then ye shall teach the witch, your pupil, how to ruin all his crops with tempest dire, with lightning and with thunder terrible, and with hail and wind. And when a priest shall do you injury by his benedictions, ye shall do to him double the harm, and do it in the name of me, Diana, queen of witches all. According to the legend, Aradia taught witches and gypsies about spells and charms. She taught peasants how to perform magic to be used against the upper classes, and specifically against the church. Aradia became the first of Earth's witches, and she promised her students that ye shall all be freed from slavery, and so ye shall be freed in everything. When Aradia's task is finished, Diana recalled her daughter to heaven and gave her the power to grant the desires of the meritious witches who invoke Aradia. Such requests include success in love and the power to bless friends and curse enemies, as well as to converse with spirits, to find hidden treasures in ancient ruins, to conjure the spirits of priests who died leaving treasures, to understand the voice of the wind, to change water into wine, to divine with cards, to know the secrets of the hands, to cure diseases, to make those who are ugly beautiful, to tame wild beasts. The invocation for Aradia is given as follows. Thus do I seek Aradia, Aradia, Aradia. At midnight, at midnight I go into a field, and with me I shall bear water, wine, and salt. I bear water, wine, and salt, and my talisman, my talisman, my talisman, and a red small bag which I ever hold in my hand. Condentro, condentro, sail with salt in it, in it. With water and wine I bless myself. I bless myself with devotion to implore a favor from Aradia, Aradia. And so was the story of Aradia written by American folklorist Charles Godfrey Leland in his 1899 work Aradia or the Gospels of the Witches. When we look into ancient history, sometimes the line between goddess and witch or witch and saint is very thin. And one example of this confusion is the legendary story of Aradia. To some, Aradia is the daughter of Lucifer and Diana, queen of the witches, and the goddess of the moon. And to some, she was an actual historical figure who led a group of Diana worshipping witches in the 14th century in Tuscany, Italy. That figure was called Aradia di Toscano. a woman whose life has been explored in neo-pagan and folklorist accounts of ancient myths and legends. Aradia's story became popular with the growth of Wicca and other neo-pagan traditions, in which she is often presented as an important deity and her character appears in many of their books. However, her origins are not so obvious. In fact, it seems that there are still more questions than answers related to this mysterious woman. Charles Godfrey Leland's book, Aradia or the Gospel of Witches, is a text which is based on the old knowledge of pagan witches from Tuscany, Italy. According to Leland, his book is based on a text he received from a woman named Maddalena, who lived in Tuscany. This account of Aradia is said to be created from ancient Etruscan mythology. 
In Leland's Gospel, Aradia is portrayed as a messiah who was sent to earth in order to teach the oppressed peasants how to perform witchcraft to use against the Roman Catholic Church and the upper classes. In Leland's Gospel, Aradia is described as having continuing power to affect the world after she returns to the sphere of Diana. For example, in the chapter A Spell to Win Love and the Invocation to Diana, Diana sends her daughter Aradia to perform the magic. Leland's Aradia has a chapter containing folklore about the night assembly or banquet titled The Sabbat, Tregunda or Witch Meeting, which involves Diana. Leland comments in the appendix, I also believe that in this Gospel of the Witches, we have a trusty outline at least of the doctrine and rites observed at these meetings, the Witches' Sabbat. They adored forbidden deities and practiced forbidden deeds, inspired as much by rebellion against society as by their own passions. Lelin speculates that this folklore ultimately has roots in ancient Etruscan mythology. Lelin also equates Aradia with Herodias, explaining his speculation that Herodias was actually Lilith. This was not derived from the Herodias of the New Testament, but from an earlier replica of Lilith bearing the same name. So far back as the 6th century, the worship of Herodias and Diana by witches was condemned by a church council at Ancyra. Leland's writing became very popular following 1899, but the main question comes down to how valid was his work. Leland claimed that the book he wrote was based on very good resources and stories repeated by centuries of people who were interested in witchcraft. Current historians and folklorists, however, still can't prove or deny the story created by the book published more than a hundred years ago. However, many historians doubt its authenticity. As some parts of Lenin's text are related to ancient mythology, while others are of local stories of different spirits, creatures, and witches. The folklorist Sabina Malioko has theorized that prior to being used in Lenin's gospel, Aradia was originally a supernatural figure in Italian folklore, who was later merged with other folkloric figures such as Sa Reusta of Sardinia. Another theory comes from Raven Grimasi, who created Stragiria, a neo-pagan tradition. It was him who says a woman known as Aradia di Toscano was a real person who lived in the 14th century and was a witch, or a powerful leader of a group of witches, who worshipped the goddess Diana. Gramassi supposed that the woman described by Lillen was none other than a medieval witch who believed that she was an ancient goddess's daughter. One more hypothesis comes from Mircea Iliad, a Roman historian of religion who lived between 1907 and 1986. Iliad suggests that the name Aradia comes from Arada or Iradiad, a folkloric name for the famous queen of fairies. In Romanian culture, she was related to Diana and was a patron for a group of dancers who existed until the end of the 19th century, although it's possible that they secretly continue their work even now. Lelin's book also inspired new books, including the famous Charge of the Goddess. These publications sound very convincing and assert that they describe the real legend of the goddess, however, their information is still uncertain because most of the texts are based on the book Lelin published in 1899. The truth behind Aradia's story is mixed with myths and legends, and it created a monumental book which inspired a new life in pagan beliefs. Charles Godfrey Lelland's Aradia became one of the central figures of modern pagan witchcraft revival, to the extent that various forms of neo-paganism, including Wicca and Stregaria, believe she is the daughter of Lucifer and Diana and is an actual deity. If you liked our video, don't forget to subscribe and follow our channel for more videos like this one.